Hi there, Chris Benson's here. Welcome to Talking Music. And this is a second review of the Now Yearbook 1981 brought to you uh, from my good old friend, Paul Coates Black. So if you haven't looked at my review, have a look at that. And this is a, a kind of an accompaniment to that as well. So thanks, Paul. Make sure you check out both reviews uh, and we'll keep the Now Yearbook news coming to you. Um, in terms of uh, some stats, there's been 509 songs on the Now Yearbooks up to now, and that's including the 1981 release, 427 of those songs didn't appear on now one, two, three, or four. Um, what can we expect from now 81 extra? Well, do you know, I was only thinking this morning, are we going to get a now 81 extra? And I know that sounds a bit negative, perhaps, but a lot of the number ones have been taken up in the original now 81 release. There's not many left, you know, to kind of give the 81 Extra some kind of uh, further credi credibility. I don't know. That's just, surely they will uh, do an extra release. But, you know, when you just start thinking, you look at the list of 1981 number ones, and you think there's not many left. Uh, for example, the It's My Party. We didn't see that. Um, uh, Barbara Gaskin and Dave Stewart. Is the licensing issues, or are they saving it for the 81 Extra? I'm not sure. Um Joe Dolce, I would love to see Joe Dolce. I love that song, Shut Up Your Face. Um, I don't expect we'll see Phil Collins because I think there's certain licensing issues there. We haven't seen uh, any Phil Collins appear on the yearbooks so far. Um, another one I'd love to see in the 81 Extra would be Fred Wedlock, the oldest swinger in town. I forgot about that, but that's a great song. Um but the, I think there is certain, uh, like you say, licensing issues. And uh, I mentioned in my review some of the artists that we haven't seen from now one, two, three, and four. For example, I know there was licensing issues with Bob Marley's estate for One Love. Uh, David Bowie uh, hasn't appeared much, but at least we did get to see Queen and David Bowie for Under Pressure. That's one thing. Uh, Jason Jones on YouTube, uh, from my review, suggested Keith Marshall's song, Only Crying. That is a great song, Jason. I have to agree with you there. Uh, Jason also suggested that Duran Duran's My Own Way should be on 81 Extra. And again, Duran Duran's uh, 1981 album, I think it was a self-titled album, wasn't it? It is a great album. I have to agree with you there. Um, so anyway, it's over to Paul, uh, who's going to guide you through the Now Yearbook 81 and give you his thoughts. See you soon. Good afternoon. I'm pleased to be joining Chris Benson here on Talking Music to discuss the latest release from the, the Now catalogue. Uh, that is, of course, Now. That's what I call uh, the Now Yearbook 1981. Started a few years, well, last year, I think it was, probably with the uh, 1984 and they briefly went forwards. And they've gone backwards. So, 1981, let's have a quick look at, for me, what are the highlights on it? And some of the tracks that are a little bit strange to sort of see on there that um, might surprise some people. Um, there may be some on there that I'm not familiar with myself. So let's have a quick look through. There's 85 tracks across the four CDs. Of course, there's likely to be another CD coming out uh, probably in a month or so to accompany this to expand it further still. But uh, Cross on CD1 starts strong. Queen and David Bowie. Uh, great uh, um, mixing of two massive artists. Uh, so that was under pressure, of course. Continuing with some great big hits. So we've got The Police Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic, The Specials Ghost Town, Ultravox's Vienna, classic song from Visage, one of my first personal favourites here, uh, Fade to Grey, Human League, Don't You Want Me, Planet Earth, Duran Duran. What a great year this is. We're only on track, uh, track seven. Are we going to keep this up all the way through? Let's see. So a bit of soft sell, Tainted Love, Kim Wilde's um, early hit, Kids in America. It's a Mystery Toya, Adam and the Ants, Prince Charming, uh, Abba, Lay All Your Love On Me, Physical from Olivia Newton-John, Green Door Shaky, Madness Is It Must Be Love, Smokey Robinson's Be With You, One Day In Your Life, Michael Jackson. Very strong, CD1. Uh, right, CD2, what we got? Again, starting strong, John Lennon, Imagine, Roxy Music, Jealous Guy. Uh, Betty Davies Eyes, uh, Kim Carnes, um, Keep On Loving You, Ario Speedwagon, bit of uh, uh, middle of the road AOR from America. Of course, the 80s was full of it, wasn't it? Uh, ELO, Hold On Tight, uh, I Surrender, Rainbow. And, uh, status Quo One, don't recognise the title personally. Chris, I'm sure he does. Something About You, Baby, I Like. Motorhead and Girl School did a duet there, Please Don't Touch. Uh, Body Talk Imagination, Going Back to My Roots, Odyssey, Massive Hits, 
Uh, nothing else on there that particularly jumps out that I recognise. Uh, John Lennon's again there on CD3, of course. Um, he had recently been uh, assassinated, so there was a huge uh, reissue of some of his singles. So Woman uh, starts off CD3, a bit more ABBA, Endless Love, Lionel Richie and Diana Ross. Bond theme appears on CD3, For Your Eyes Only, from Sheena Easton. Adam and the Ants is back with Stand and Deliver, Under Your Thumb, Godly and Cream. Uh, Kiki D star, Bradford's, uh, a Bradford artist there. Uh, Chris and I, of course, live, live in the city now. Um, and, of course, that, I think, if I remember rightly, Chris will correct me here, was the theme tune to Opportunity Knox. Cliff Richard, Wire for Sound, Japanese Boy and Nika. Making your mind up. Eurovision Song Contest in winning song from Bucks Fizz, Shake His Back, This Old House, uh, Bad Manners, The Can Can. Uh, then we've got tracks from Julio Iglesias, Memory from Elaine Page. So another big song. And finally, we get to CD4. Again, starting strongly, Adam and the Ants, Ant Music, Altered Images, Happy Birthday. For me, the best version of Happy Birthday. Duran Duran, Back Again, Girls on Film, Human League's Love Action, Spandau Ballet. Not one of their big successes, but chant number one is there. Uh, Favourite shirts, Boy Meets Girl, Haircuts 100. Uh, Phil Lynott's Yellow Pearl, Top of the Pops theme in the past. Uh, a few sort of indie songs here. So She's Got Claws uh, by Gary Newman. The Passions, I'm in Love with a German Film Star. Oh, I saw this guy perform recently. He did this song. Absolutely sensational. Still has the same power as it did when it was out back in 1981. The Jam, that's entertainment. Absolutely stunning performance. Uh, early song from you 2 there, Fire. Teardrop Explodes, another one of my personal favourites. Reward. Uh, Sword of a Thousand Men, Temple Tudor. Of course, that's Ed Tudor Paul, who would go on to present uh, The Crystal Maze following um, Richard O'Brien. Uh, UB41 in 10, one of their early ones. Funboy 3 and the Lunatics have taken over the Asylum. Squeeze, label we love. Finishing off with uh, Good Year for the Roses, Elvis Costello and the Attractions. They've done it again. It's another great compilation. I did say, CD1, very strong. Can it go throughout the album? I have to say, it has. It is pretty much uh, all good content and very minimal amount of filler. So, yep, yeah, it's a thumbs up from me. It's a good CD, uh, well worth uh, investing in. I think it's about a tenner from uh, usual sort of retail purchases places. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.